Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We need to ask ourselves a very serious question. A question that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to implement. And that is, why don't we, why don't we ask Allah azza wa jal when we need Him? We are the servants of Allah. We are the creation of Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our master and Allah azza wa jal is our creator. We, as the servants of Allah, should show Allah Azza wa Jal that we worship Him. And part of the worship of Allah is that we ask Him. Allah loves His servants when they ask Him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dislikes His servants when they are in need of something not to ask Him. Allah Azza wa Jal is the master and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator. And it is His rights upon us that we should ask Him and resort to Him. Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ اُدْعُونِ أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ and your Lord, and your Lord had said, ask me and I'll respond back to you. You as a Muslim, as a servant of Allah, you should constantly remember that when you need something, you ask Allah. When you want something, you resort to Allah. When you are in desperate of need of anything, you go back to Allah Azza wa Jal. Remember, no one can solve your problem. No one can give you, no one can grant you, no one can keep away something away from you, except Allah Azza wa Jal. He is Allah, the Lord of this universe, the Creator. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty be to Him. Allah azza wa Almighty be Him. Allah azza wa jal, in many verses in the Quran al-Kareem, recommends the believers to ask Him, to resort to Him, to supplicate to Him. Because this is the sign of the greatness of Allah as a Lord. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Lord and we are His servants. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was a true servant of Allah that constantly used to ask Allah. Who will ask Allah Azza wa for everything, even for the smallest of things. For the most uh, disgraceful and the most little of things, he'll ask Allah Azza wa Jal. This is the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. And that's why his heart was attached to Allah. His heart was attached to the prayers. Whenever the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam was in, in any concern, or in the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam was worried about any matter, the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam will resort to Allah. He'll even say, أَرِحْنَ بِهَا يَا بِلَالْ أَوْ بِلَالْ Make us relax. When is that time that the salah will enter? So we could ask our Lord. This is the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is the way of the believer. The believer, whenever this believer wants something, whenever this believer is in need of anything, whenever this believer wants or wants something to be given to him or something to be taken away from him, he goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He knows that no one can support him, no one can help him, no one can give him, no one can take away something from him, except Allah Azza wa Jal. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam teaches that to Abdullah ibn Abbas. When Abdullah ibn Abbas was a young child, when, Abd- when it was a young man, when Abdullah ibn Abbas was a young man, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells, O oh Abdullah, ya ghulam, O oh young man, inni mu'allimuka kalimat, I want to teach you words. They are maybe very little in their number, but great in their meaning. Protect Allah, you find Allah Azza wa Jal protecting you. Protect Allah, you find Allah wherever you are. And if you want to ask anyone, ask no one but Allah. If you are in need of anything, ask no one but Allah. If you want something, go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you want to rely on anyone, rely on no one but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَعَلَمْ لَوْ أَنَّ الْأُمَّةَ اجْتَمَعَتْ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَنْفَعُوكَ بِشَيْءٍ لَمْ يَنْفَعُوكَ إِلَّا بِشَيْءٍ قَدْ كَتَبَهُ اللَّهُ لَكَ وَلَوْ اجْتَمَعَ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَضُرُّوكَ بِشَيْءٍ لَمْ يَضُرُّوكَ إِلَّا بِشَيْءٍ قَدْ كَتَبَهُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكَ رُفِعَتِ الْأَقْلَامُ وَجُفَّتِ الصُّحُفُ Then the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, O oh young man, and remember if this whole world gets together and unites, to benefit you, that would never ever benefit you unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala permits. And if this whole world gets together to harm you, that would never ever harm you unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala permits. This is the believer. The believer knows that everything is in the hands of Allah. And nothing will happen without the permission of Allah. Therefore, I ask Allah and I resort to Him. So my brother and my sister, why don't you ask Allah when you need Him? Why don't you resort to Him when you need Him? Why don't you go back to Him when you need Him? We will ask everyone. We will ask everyone and we go to everyone seeking their help and sometimes we forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We believe and we've got this firm belief that this person and that person or these people or that people can help us and we don't have the belief that Allah will help us. Where is our iman? Where is our yaqeen? Where is our belief? Where is our reliance on Allah azza wa jal? Therefore, my brother and my sister, when you need something, go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no matter what it is. 
No matter what it is, how big it is or small it is, you go back to Allah Azza wa Jal. Some of the Sahaba had taken the pledge from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Some of the Sahaba have given the pledge to the Prophet Alaihi Salatu Wasallam. They would never ask anyone except Allah. This is, this is their quality, this is their characteristics. They've given the Prophet Alaihi Salatu Wasallam the pledge. They would not ask anyone except Allah. If they want something, they'll ask Allah. If they need something, they'll ask Allah. If even one of them will even want salt, this is what they narrated, if one of them wants salt, and how small and disgraceful salt is. What's salt? You could buy it from any shop down the road, from any market. But the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum got themselves, they got themselves on the habit, they got themselves on the worship, that whenever they need something, they ask Allah, even if it's salt, they pray to Allah azza wa jal, before they ask anyone else. They'll ask Allah before they resort to anyone else. Two rak'ah. You know, my brother and my sister, the two raka, you could change the impossible. You could make the possible, the, you could make the impossible possible with two raka. Two sincere raka that you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With sincerity, raising your hands to Allah and say, Ya Allah, help me. Ya Allah, support me. Ya Allah, give me this. Ya Allah, take away this disease from me. Or take away that bad thing away from me. And Allah azza wa will make it happen. It's, it's all about two raka. Two simple rak'ah, two simple units of the salah will make things and change things and give you and get you something that you are, you are asking for and something that you are waiting for. The believer always relies on Allah Azza wa Jal. The believer, when the believer wants something, turns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A man came to the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam and he said, O Messenger of Allah, is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala far away from us that we need to call upon him? Or is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala near us that we just need to ask him? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Qur'an al-Kareem and revealed in that verse, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاءِ إِذَا دَعَانِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, and if my servants ask you about me, O Muhammad, tell them I'm nearby. I accept the supplication of those who supplicate to me. So my brother and my sister, why don't you ask Allah when you need him? Look at yourself. There are a lot of things in your life that you probably need. You probably need money, you probably need children, you probably need, uh, you know, you probably need help here, support there. At the end of the day, Allah is the one that can solve this for you. At the end of the day, Allah is the one that can give this to you. At the end of the day, Allah Azza wa Jal is the one that can make it happen. So go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Raise your hands to Allah. Say, Ya Allah, you are the one that can help me. Ya Allah, you are the one that can give me. Ya Allah, you are the one that can support me. Ya Allah, you are the one that can change and make a change for me. Ya Rabb, I am supplicating. And Ya Rabb, I'm turning to you. So why don't you ask Allah when you need him? Ask him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you find Allah azza wa Jalla there for Allah, therefore, you, Allah, majal namna ladin is tami on a call, fay tami on asana. Subhanak Allahumma wa hamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa ant nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.